Well, I think the Bible is full of description of the church as family before any other description. It's, uh, the church is not a business. The church is not an organization. And I think using family language, understanding family language in, in terms of describing the church is really important when it comes to multiplying ministry because in families, we want all of the family to flourish. We want the family to do well, even if we've got someone in the family who's not behaving very well. Actually, an attitude within a family is we want them to flourish. So I personally believe in protecting the gift, even if the character of the person you're working with needs some attention. But what I mean by that is sometimes uh, in church circles, it has been sort of taught, well, wait till someone's character's developed, then we can use them. I, I, I profoundly disagree with that. I think that there's a grace gift given to every person in the body of Christ. And our role as leaders, as those who've been charged with looking after and developing those that God has given, called us to look after is to protect the gift. Now, that doesn't mean the character has to be addressed. And sometimes people do completely disqualify themselves, of course. But I believe in that most people develop better on the job. So you give them something to do, put them in a situation where they're stretched and they're more likely to develop their character because they're going to have to depend on God. And I think that comes out of a philosophy that says church is family. We're in this together. We, can, we cover one another's weaknesses. We create an environment where everyone knows that we believe in one another. We want to help each other achieve everything that God um, desires for us. And we, we can find many uh, expressions in the New Testament of uh, family. We talk uh, often talk about fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters. Uh, that kind of language is repeated again and again in, in New Testament uh, epistles. Uh, and so I, I think that uh, seeing the church as a family is not only, it's not just a quaint thing, it's a biblical thing. God sees us as his sons and daughters, and he wants us to see ourselves and each other as part of a family. Uh, and I think that way actually helps break down cultural barriers, it breaks down class barriers, it breaks down every other barrier you can imagine because we are part of one new man in Christ, wherever we come from, whether we're rich, poor, whatever our language, our colour, our creed, background, uh, we are part of the family of God and to me that helps um, avoid competitiveness as well. A business model, an organisation model can be very competitive. Did I get the job? You know, did I, did I achieve? Uh, can I be promoted into this? I'm looking for something much more uh, family-based than that. So we, do, we hear together what God is saying for each other.